It's about a month ago, I posted up a video on the Underground Music Production Group, and it was a bit of a musical thing going on with Logic Pro 10, and it was using something that I couldn't disclose what it was at the time. So it was enabling me to play something that sounded really nice and musical, almost as if I was like a, a trained keyboard player. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you into a little secret. I'm gonna show you exactly what it was, and there's basically a new site where you can get hold of something here. Now, I don't know if you guys have um, played around with the MIDI um, effects. So look, I'm gonna drop it down here. And there's a whole load of stuff here, like the chord trigger, for example, is a really nice way to trigger chords from one finger on the keyboard. And um, that's the kind of vibe we're talking about, but it's a little bit more than that. And there's something along here, I don't know if you've seen this, which is the scripter. I'm gonna open it up. Now, this is a place where people who understand code can actually create something that will basically interpret the incoming notes and change them. So it's like a MIDI insert. And there's nothing set in here. What I need to do is I need to come over here and this is my secret weapon, which you will be able to get hold of for yourselves. I selected all of the text in there. So the whole script, Command plus C, and I'm gonna come over here back into the scripter, I'm going to do Command A, select everything, backspace to delete, and then I'm gonna do Command plus V. So it's pasted the script in there. The next, <laughs> the next thing to do is to click Run Script. Now, this is what happens. So we've got basically a series of drop downs and some sliders. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down here. Now, I was playing around with one earlier that I thought sounded really nice. And this was the uh, the minus seven nine eleven. Let me just try and find this. There we go. So you know um, minor chords are really popular um, with deep house and uh, a few other styles as well. So I've got the keyboard here set up so that when I push my laptop keyboard, that um, it's going to trigger the notes. There's no instrument on the track. And so what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop it down. EXS twenty four. Whoa. <laughs> this is going to be the most disorganized tutorial I've ever done. So forgive me, I'm in a new place, um, very different situation at the moment. And um, I'm just getting used to it all again. Um, so forgive me. So I'm going to turn it off and on and right, wicked. Um, that's just a sine wave coming from the EXS24. So really, that's nothing new. I mean, you've seen that stuff going on already. Let me just show you something. What I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this down. I'm going to go to Factory Acoustic Pianos and I'm going to go to Yamaha Grand Piano. Oh man, that's a nice piano, isn't it? Right, but look, that's sounding a little bit bland and boring. Um, I need to spice this up, right? So look, watch. I'm going to adjust the slider for the flam. Sounds good. Sounds really good. I'm not doing um, anything at all. I'm just literally pushing one key. I'll tell you what, let me just show you the keyboard again. So watch on the keyboard here, the musical type, musical typing keyboard. That's so nice. But look, I'll tell you what, at the moment, this is kind of like equal. Um, I want to kind of humanize that a bit so we can adjust the slider here. That means the spacing between those flammed notes are, it's gonna be like randomized a little bit. Do you know what? I don't know how this guy's done this. I'm gonna reveal it all fairly soon in terms of where you can get this. The guy who put the scripts together is a clever guy. Man, seriously, that sounds so good. So what's happening is, Firstly, a chord is being generated from one note. Then what's happening is, is that the notes in the chord are being flammed, so as if you're doing it really quickly on, on your keyboard. But the spacing between the flams uh, is basically adjusting, so it's being humanized. And the other thing we could do is adjust the velocity. At the moment, it's all constant, so I've got it at basically 88 over here on the musical typing, so I'm gonna adjust the slider. So we're really getting some interesting textures here. Right, so that's cool. Let 
let me show you something else you could do here. Let me take the bass note down, maybe um, up a bit. So we were on minus 12 before, so it's like an octave below the note you're playing. Let me just adjust that, maybe try a seven. Remember, you can automate this stuff as well, you know? So um, I like that. Um, let me take that velocity down a little bit. Wicked, so good. Um, okay, so that's cool. There's something else I wanna do. Let me show you the flam if we take it longer. I just messed it up. Sometimes I find I have to just kind of turn the script on and off again. Um, so this isn't, I mean, you might be thinking, yeah, it's almost like an arpeggiator. Kind of is in a, in a way, but it feels much more human to me. Let me take the flam longer. So it's wicked, you know. So tons of chords, a whole selection there. You've got the control of doing the bass note. Um, there is also key switching as well. So you could map a particular chord to a certain key. So you can use your keyboard. I think it's the lower octave, does the switching, takes it into a whole new dimension. But I don't have time to show that. What I wanna do just to finish off here, and uh, is basically to show you the website. So look, um, this is it. So logicscripts.jimdo.com and um, there is a selection here. The one that I've been playing around with is the Cordio. Please, if you buy it, don't go and share the text with someone else. That's just not fair, because um, you know someone's put a lot of time and effort into doing this. So he's um, got this, and there are some others as well. So seriously, what I'll do is I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, support the guy who's done this. Um, very talented, some great, um, it's gonna bring a lot of musicality to your productions, you know, that's for sure, if you're really struggling and putting music together. So anyway, that's it, and um, yeah, have a lot of fun with it. Um, I know that I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it, and um, yeah, if you come out with any particular settings or anything, or if you discover any features that um, are worth telling everybody about, please put that information down in the comments below.